Hi YouTube. So I purchased a home about three weeks ago and I've been struggling trying to find a good internet service provider. There's literally nobody in my area. So after doing some research online, I came across this company, Spark Services. Uh, basically what they do is they, from I get out of it, they buy blocks of data off the major carriers, whether it be Verizon, Sprint, AT&T, T-Mobile, whatever. Um, and that's your, your internet. Uh, this is the package it came in today. <coughs> we have this Wi-Fi router, I believe it's called a MoFi. Some Yagi antennas, I think that's how you say it. Here's the mount bracket, brackets, coax cable. Uh, this whole setup cost about $470. Um, I'm going to install it today and see how it goes. So here I am on top of the roof. I'm going to install the Yagi antennas. And I think I forgot to mention, or I did forget to mention, the start of this video. Um, this is $95 a month. That's what Spark charges. Um, all the other companies I've researched is pretty comparable some more expensive than the others but uh, it's 95 and that is they claim is unlimited data unthrottled um, all the reviews I read people have been using more than 500 a month and they've never been throttled so uh, it sounds like that's true uh, so I don't know much about these besides their directional and there's don't really increase the speed of your internet it's more of a increases your signal um, as you can see lots of trees where I'm at basically I am I am surrounded by three towers there's one that way there's one that way there's one over there at night you can see them pretty clear but uh, that direction is definitely the closest. I think it's about a mile and a half. So that's where I'm gonna, once I get these installed, that's the direction I'm gonna start. But um, pretty much everything I read online is, it's just trial and error. Once your antennas that way, they don't work good, put them the other way. Just basically do a 360 and try to find a sweet spot. So, came with the uh, 50 foot coax cable, which I'm gonna run through the roof here like bird crap. I don't know what that is. But. So I'll get these installed. See how it goes. There we go. Got them installed. Uh, I borrowed this. Used to be a dish on there from Dish Network. So I borrowed their mount rack. Um, this is just temporarily. Um, one of my rentals has a 30 foot satellite tower on it. It's not being used. Probably just going to cut it down and Hopefully get about 25 feet of it. Um, if this works fine, I don't know. I might just leave it as is. But I don't, I don't know if you can see that back there. But see the tower. Oh, I can't even find it. Oh, it's it's right there in between the trees. Where is it? Just saw it. Oh well, anyway, it's sticking up above the trees, so. Uh, before I run these, these coax cables through the hole in the roof, I'm just going to run it down over there. That's where my office is going to be, um, where the mailbox is. The window's pretty much directly behind it. Um, I'm just going to run it across the roof, down to the window, hook it up to the modem, and see if this thing works, see what kind of speeds we get. So. <clears throat> So yeah, as you can see, I'm pretty rural. I live in southern Illinois, so we're kind of kind of the sticks. I guess we'd say we're behind on the times. There's my crazy dog. He likes to dig. Rocco! Yeah. Alright. Let's get this thing hooked up. See what kind of speeds we can get. Alright, so. 
I got everything hooked up. Um, like I said, I just pretty much had this laying on the floor right now. Eventually, I'd like to hang up there in my closet. And I lied to you guys, I I did run the coax through the, the attic. I didn't think it would reach. I went down through the window. So, I plan on putting the modem somewhere in this closet, mount on the wall, have the wires running out. My computer, excuse the mess. This is uh, gonna be my, my office. I'm in the process of actually making the computer desk right now. So in the meantime, I just have to lay this on the floor. But anyway, so I got a internet quarter on the back of it. Down through the hall. To the back of the computer. So that was my last speed test. So 20 down, two and a half up. Pr pretty good, really. Let's test it again. So really not bad speeds. Um, we have a couple, we have a couple of good internet providers in this area. Uh, Mediacom, Futiva, um, you know, they're fiber optic, but you know, obviously their lines don't make it to my house, but you're going to see 30, 40 megs. So you know, all things considered, I'm out here outside town and did speed like these, this, I'm not going to complain. There's my, my ping. So I, uh, I play a lot of games on a computer. Um, my son does also. Uh, my I don't have cable TV or nothing. So Netflix, Amazon, that is my, my source of entertainment when it comes to watching TV. Let's run another speed test. So there we go. Look at that one. So if I were to live in town, in Southern Illinois anyway, I really wouldn't be getting much better speeds than this. So, uh, so far, really, really happy with it. Um, I haven't tried playing any games yet, but I can imagine not having a good experience with those speeds. Um, I did get back on the roof and I changed my uh, the Yagi tendons to a, a different tower. It seemed to help. Uh, this tower is actually further away than I'm pointing on, but there's less tree obstruction, so um, anyone decides to go this route for internet, keep that in mind. It's not always the closest tower, it's the one that has the best line of sight. So, there you have it. I'm uh, pretty pretty happy with that. That's it's actually awesome. There should be nothing, nothing that I can throw at it. Say streaming, gaming, listening to music, should be able to handle all that. With my son here doing the same thing. So that's uh, Spark Services. I believe they're out of Oklahoma. Um, I've called them a handful of times now. They have great customer support. They go to the website, you can chat with them. Uh, I believe you can text them if you need to. You can call them. Uh, pretty pretty happy so far. Um, I'll do a follow-up. I plan on keeping it about next two weeks. See how it does. I'll do a follow-up and tell you how it's going. So, thanks.